Do you guys remember in the one of my video I told you uh, there is a place I really like to get some snacks or oh, we can say short eats. Um, I feel like they are very clean and it's good food. So I have a new food to introduce you today. So this is <laughs> this is called Imbul Kiribat. So how they made this, this is a rice, this outlay is a rice. And then uh, in the middle, let me to show you. So in the middle, uh, they put some mix with the coconut sugar and it's, it's very, very sweet, right? Um, the, it, it made with, the, we call it uh, It made with the coconut and sugar. And then they wrap with the rice. It's really tasty. Hmm. Maybe in India, I believe they have the same thing but with a different name, but we call it Simbul Kiribat. I really like it. Shall I tell you a funny story? The way it says, uh, I told you in one of the video, you may not see that video yet. Because I have a pile of videos and the vlogs from last year to show you. I am really lazy to edit. So, yeah, it's waiting. So anyway, uh, I got a question regarding serverless. Um, I don't remember the question exactly, but I, I remember what he asked. He asked a few questions. I will answer in one uh, in another, one other video, the rest of the things. But the one question was, I will put in the screen. The one question was, uh, what is the best way to do the serverless? Whether it's use Express or the next day, so something like that. Or else, um, what happened at the call starter and so on and so forth. So here is my advice. right? If you are doing a serverless project, I would recommend you to use a serverless framework. Um, I have done some few examples, few tutorials, few tutorials, few tutorials in this uh, channel, so you can go and watch those. Use the serverless framework. Serverless three, serverless framework three is out there, so it has a bunch of features. You can do a lot of things with that uh, without even touching cloud formation, right? So it's okay to use Express O NestJS. Nothing wrong with that. But as he said. Uh, there's a call start uh, involved here, right? Because if you get the NestJS, sometime it may take few seconds to load it, right? So there are a few um, alternatives you can compile this web packs and there are a few alternatives they have documented in their website. You can go and check that. But um, I would say go with the plain TypeScript uh, using a serverless framework. So serverless framework with TypeScript, not the uh, JavaScript because plain node Java it's really hard to code, no types, and there are so many errors can introduce to your code. That being said, if you really want to use NestJS or Express, uh, if the call start doesn't matter to you, there's no problem. But if, even though call start matters to you, as he asked in this question, there are techniques uh, involved to keep this warm, right? So in AWS itself, introduce a technique, so where you can go to your console and you can select a uh, lambda particular function and you can say hey i need to keep this warmer all the time right yes it's involved a bill right it i, I don't remember the don't count me on these numbers either 12 dollars or 30 dollars or 20 dollars or some some around per month for that function to keep it warm right so but then it will stay warm so when the traffic comes it will take care of it and when the more traffic comes it will spin out more instances so that is the answer go with the serverless framework uh, uh, if you can, if you really, really deadly want to use an SJS or any other framework, do it, but with knowing what you are doing. See you in another video.